Right, updating the firmware on the AZ GTI mount, I went to the Skywatcher website, skywatcher.com, to their support and then software and firm, firmware page, which takes me to the list of available uh, firmware updates. Uh, in order to load the actual firmware, you have to first download and install the uh, loader which is a utility to move the software to your to your mount. So I used the there's a couple of different versions here and you have to pay attention to the to the text. Um, there's this one here at the top which is the program Windows program motor controller firmware loader version 1.74. This is if you're using a hand control. Uh, what I used was the Wi-Fi version. You simply download that. It shows up in your uh, downloads and you extract those files and then you'll see the uh, firmware loader here. Uh, you'll double click that, that'll open up the firmware loader and then uh, back to the Skywatcher website uh, look for the AZ EQ dual mode version 3.2 that appears to be the most recent uh, firmware which was 830 of 2019 you're going to download that, extract those files, and then go back to your motor controller firmware loader. Oh, by the way, you need to, on your Wi-Fi, disconnect from your home Wi-Fi. Um, your mount will show up as a, an available Wi-Fi network. So connect to your mount, the sync scan. Um, I turned off my home Wi-Fi, just turned off the back of my router. That way I wasn't getting any... Um, spill over from any other uh, Wi-Fi signals. And then uh, once you're connected, and if you need to cycle your power on your go on your mount, I did have to do that one time to cycle it because through the connections and disconnecting, it just seemed to not want to connect. But anyhow, then you go to your, your loader uh, utility. You're going to find your uh, version uh, 3.20 MCF file. You're going to open that and then it'll show up. You just simply hit update. Now the first time I attempted it, it only went to about 12% and it said that it failed. I just power cycled the mount, reattempted, uh, reconnected first to my Wi-Fi and then reattempted and it uh, went just fine. And so that was it. So then I powered down the uh, Wi-Fi um, powered down the mount, rebooted the mount, uh, power switch, and then opened the app on my phone. And the, when as soon as I connected to the mount, it gave me the option to connect in EQ mode, which previously I did not have that option. So I'm assuming now that I have the controls of the mount in EQ mode. So I think the next thing that I'll do is work on a uh, polar alignment, maybe a three-star alignment and hopefully capture some night sky.